Welcome everyone, my name is Michael, also known as Captain Klar due to my bald head. Last time we ended up in Dubrovnik. Contrary to common sense, it was cheaper to keep Chakruna on land for two weeks, including lift operations, than it was to stay in the marina. Prices for the marinas in Croatia will literally blow you out of the water. But still, if you can afford it, Croatian coast is amazing. My crew consisted this time of experienced and deadly handsome sailors. My uncle Marek, who has over 40 cruises under his belt. Our friend Sławek, with his incredible cooking talent. And his lovely daughter Victoria. Only four people on board made this cruise very unique as I could learn many things from people who had more experience and knowledge than myself. So far this was the best sailing experience I ever had. If you ask why, watch this episode until the end, so that your curiosity will be satisfied. In this episode we will travel across the wonderful coast of Croatia. We will start in Dubrovnik and make a short jump to Sipańska Luka. From there we will sail to wonderful Korčula, then Palmizana, after that Primošten, after which we will take a long cruise to Zadar. From Zadar we will travel to Malinosin, then Pula, Novigrad, and we will finish our cruise in Portoroz. As a bonus, we will travel to Venice by bus and have a sneak peek on this iconic city which I plan to visit by boat in the next season. After being deployed on water, we tried out some maneuvers and we left Dubrovnik. The wind was quite favorable and it took us only 5 hours to reach Sipańska Luka, even though we had a small detour. The marina doesn't have showers or bathrooms, but has electricity and water. We paid for Chakruna about 60 euro, which considering prices in Croatia, was not that expensive. Marina is quite well protected and the approach wasn't difficult. We were welcomed by a small village positioned around a large natural bay.
Next day we departed before 8 a.m. Our destination, Kurchula, which we also like to call Mini Dubrovnik. The weather was a bit moody, but we had a nice backstack wind. Chakruna was doing on occasion over 8 knots when sliding down the wave. On average, speed was just over 5 knots and we reached Korchula after 3 pm. In total, we used only sails for 6 hours and we were motoring for just 1.5 hour. Korchula itself is a lovely port city with two marinas. In Old Town Marina we encountered some mind-blowing yachts including famous 92 meters Queen Miri. You can rent it for a week for 36 people for about 1.5 million euro depending on the season time plus expenses. Mamy Kurcule i płyniemy teraz do Kwaru. Zapowiadają dosyć silne wiatry. 20 węzłów w porywach do 30. Więc będziemy pewnie lecieć na samej Genui. The plan for the next day was to visit Kwar, so we left Kurcula and had a delicious breakfast made by Sławek.
When we saw conditions in Hvar, we decided not to moor here. Over half meter waves were moving through the pier, which meant some risk. We decided to go to alternative port in Palmizana, which is well protected from waves and wind. The island is a nature reserve with very few people and boat visitors. We felt very remote and the stay was very pleasant and quiet. I highly recommend this gem for a visit even in high season, but you might need to stay in the bay on a buoy on the other side of the marina. Our next destination was Primoshten. The wind was still quite favorable, but a bit strong. The temperature was over 24 degrees Celsius, even though the clouds shielded us from the sun. All the signs were showing that we will have some precipitation. was not easy as I had to moor in 5 Beaufort's wind but with experienced crew like I had it wasn't hard at all even though Chakruna doesn't have a bow thruster. After we moored in the rain we did what usually sailors do in bad weather. Our next destination was Zadar, but the forecast was showing that if we moved next day, 
we will encounter strong winds reaching gale forces, gusts to 41 knots, so we decided to stay in Primoshten to wait it out. In the evening, forces of nature broke loose. No, w takich warunkach pływać to raczej średnia przyjemność. Przygoda. Przygoda. Zobaczymy o pierwsze miejsce. No pięknie. Next day in Primoshten was still very windy, but also very sunny. We went exploring and had some good time. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,